Hi everybody! So I haven't done a YouTube video in so long. I always enjoy watching other people's favorite videos and I thought to myself, why not do one starting the month of January? Maybe I'll do one every month if people like it, if they care at all. Yeah, we'll see. So um, I have quite an assortment of favorites. So without further ado, let's get started. I feel like the last time I recorded, my hair was probably pretty natural. Um, I, don't I went a year and a half without coloring my hair, and then I got balayage done, and then I went blue. <laughs> Whoops. And then from blue, I went to pink, and here I am now in blonde. So my hair is overprocessed and dry, and then you add the winter months to it, and it gets even more dry. So I've been needing some love. So with the salon that I work in now, we carry the brand called Daviness. Um, this is the Love Shampoo. Love. This smells, it's 100% my favorite smell that Daviness has. Anyways, it is, <laughs> it is for coarser frizzy hair, um, which my hair is not really coarse. It, does have texture because it is lightened, um, but it does get frizzy. I have naturally curly, wavy, textured hair, so this helps to kind of smooth it down. It also has a lot of moisture in it, which helps to bring my hair back to life. I have been using this for probably three weeks now, and I can tell a major difference each time I wash my hair. I am loving love. Love it. The cool thing about Davines as well is they are made in Italy and they come from a specific farm. Each one, the bottle says, this is from Mr. Messina's farm. He actually grows the olives there to make this shampoo, which I think is so cool. So yeah, loving it. Again, with my hair being damaged, I'm needing a lot of moisture and a lot of protein, so um, what I got for my conditioner is by Davanessa again. It is the Nourishing Hair Building Pack. It is for dry and damaged hair. It smells amazing. Oh my god, it smells like so natural and beautiful. Oh. It smells so good though and a little goes a long way. My hair is thick but not that thick at the same time. So, I mean, I've been using this for the same amount of time as my shampoo, and you can see I barely made a dent in it. You put this on your hair, and you get in the shampoo. Well, you're in the shower already. Yeah, you put this on your hair after you shampoo, let it sit for 10 minutes, sing in the shower, do whatever you want to do, rinse it out, and you feel amazing. Promise, your hair will feel so good. My hair feels so much better just in the amount of time. I also got a haircut, so that helps. Get your hair cut, guys. And get your roots done, it's fine, it's fine. The theme of this section is my hair is over-processed. This is the Kenra Platinum Lux One Leave-In All-in-One Miracle Spray. I hope my nails don't look super disgusting. <laughs> it is enriched with gold, so. How bougie is that to be spraying gold in your hair? Um, but it's not gold colored. It's not going to change your blonde. It's white. It smells... Oh my god. It smells so good. Whatever perfume is in this, I don't know for sure. But holy moly. I really like leave-in conditioners for my type of hair that are more of like a conditioner base. Where it's like a thicker base. My hair needs the moisture. It needs... Get you some, but don't, it's whatever. One more hair product on the list. Hey guess what guys? It's the Daviness product. <laughs> um, this is Oi Oil by Daviness. This stuff right here is saving my hair, I swear. A little bit of a pump. I do mine with it wet and with it dry. I mean, one pump when it's my hair's dry. Rub it in, and I go through my ends. 
mids and ends, kind of working it in. And it's not a greasy oil. Like my hands, it's already rubbed in. Like it feels really, really good. It's light, but it still makes a difference in my hair. So when I'm styling my hair, when it's wet, I usually do like three to four pumps when my hair is wet, put it in, blow dry, flat iron or curl my hair, whatever I'm planning on doing that day, or if I just let it be natural, I still do one or two pumps at the most when it's dry. It helps to lay down those flyaways and frizzies, smooth the cuticle down, and looks super shiny and healthy. I am obsessed with this stuff. I don't go a day without using it. Moving on. I am obsessed with this stuff. This is gonna be Twilight Shower Gel, or you can use it as a bath. Twilight Shower Gel from Lush. It is a lavender-based stuff, and seriously, sometimes Lush stuff can be a little bit too sweet for me, but I picked this up in the store and smelt it, and was like, I have found my favorite shower gel in all the land, and it is a stuff. It smells so good. You can see I'm almost out. A little sad. It's still quite a bit, actually, but. Soothing lavender with a touch of sweetness. The perfect blend to send you off to dreamland and smelling divine. Kind of a two-in-one here. Um, Chase got me this for Christmas and it is the Sleepy Body Lotion. Luxuriously rich lavender and tonka lotion to soothe your skin and mind. And it's got, it smells really, really similar to um, Twilight. It looks like this. And it's like, you know, just take a little, a little scoopy out of there. So nice and creamy. It doesn't leave my hair or my body feeling like greasy, you know, which is nice. I love it. Use that twilight, follow up with this. The best. I got this gifted to me from my Secret Santa in December. And when I oh, like two weeks without trying it, I'm a dingus. But this is the Cup of Coffee body and face mask from Lush. I am not endorsed by Lush, but I mean, if you wanna, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> you can use it on your whole body, but I have used it on my face only. It seriously smells like a cup of coffee. It's crazy. That's what it looks like on the inside. Kind of gross. It's just like energizing. It's a caffeine packed ground coffee, helps scrub away dirt, dry skin, and gives skin a boost. And I really think it works. It could be crazy, but I'm liking this cup of coffee. Just like I have a cup of coffee in the morning, a cup of coffee of this at night. Good times. I have tried everything under the sun, I feel like, to give my skin some moisture without it breaking out because I'm also super sensitive to face washes and heavy moisturizers. My skin breaks out like I'm back in high school. It's like a double-edged sword. So I was doing this lady's hair one day and I noticed her eyelashes looked amazing. They like looked like extensions, but I could tell that they weren't extensions from where I was above her. So I asked her, I was like, gosh, what do you use on your eyelashes? Your eyelashes are amazing. She told me, well, um, I started using rosehip oil on my lashes to take off my makeup and to like hydrate my lashes and it's just making my eyelashes grow like crazy. And I had never even heard of this. So I was like, huh? Okay, um, immediately goes to Amazon to try to find it. But then I was in Central Market and just happened to find it. Um, so I have basically done away with all of my moisturizers. I hardly ever use one. I now use this every night. I keep it in the refrigerator. So I wash my face, do my little tonic thing, makeup, or whatever it is that gets rid of the uh, leftover stuff. Get this out of the fridge. Do like two pumps and do it all over my face, focusing on my eyelashes and I don't know if I really noticed a difference in my eyelashes, but in the process I have learned that this is the most amazing moisturizer. 
ever. To the point now that Chase uses it. He loves it. So I can't recommend this enough. And it, this whole bottle, I want to say was like $7 maybe? Maybe? Maybe. It was under 10. I remember it being under 10. Moving on. Two, two makeup things that I have been loving. One of them, um, I'm like the pickiest person when it comes to foundations. I have a hard time finding something I really like. I used to love matte because of my oily skin, but now that I've become oh, dry all of a sudden, I need something with moisture at the same time. So I don't look like a cakey piece of mess. I really have fallen in love with this brand called IT. Um, this is anti-aging, skin smoothing, and invisible coverage. It is their Bye Bye Lines Foundation. I am loving it. I use light for my skin. So this right here has been the best foundation that I have used in a long time. I get compliments on my skin and my makeup all the time and I feel like it's because of this. It makes me feel dewy but not oily. I really, really am loving it. It is, I want to say, in the 30s, so it's not cheap. Um, but I feel like it's worth it when you find something that you feel better in. This is gifted to me by my dear friend Sarah. This guy's walking around us and the kids are lost. This is the Tartlet in Bloom by Tarte uh, eyeshadow palette that my friend Sarah gave to me. It is beautiful packaging. It's kind of run down because I have seriously used it like crazy. Gorgeous. I have been using this one a lot and this one a lot. That is the color Jet Setter and the color Rebel. That's what I have on my eyes right now, is the Just Setter and Rebel Mixed. And then on the corners, I have been using Leader, which is the dark red, just to kind of give it a darker shadow and go underneath my lashes. I really, really like it. It's all very kind of nudey with some coppery feels to it, which looks really good with blue eyes. Love. Okay, so. I did a little spill about this product on my hair Instagram, which is Haley Mahone Hair. If you do not follow it, allow me. I will also have it linked in the description. So this right here, I have been using to try to make my hair grow and be healthier and also with my nails and my skin. It's just for all of the things. This is Collagen Peptides. I picked this up at Whole Foods. Um, I want to say this it was on sale at the time, it was 20 something, I want to say it's originally like 30 something. Um, I, it has no flavor whatsoever, you could literally mix it with water and it would be totally fine. I mix mine with my coffee every morning, it makes my coffee kind of a creamier consistency. Um, but I also put it into my smoothies when I drink them as well. It is 70 calories, but it's healthy. This is good for your skin, your hair, your nails, your joints, everything. Collagen is all in our bodies and we need it. So I can tell a difference. I mean, obviously, <laughs> look at this hair situation. My nails are stronger. They're always breaking because I'm in water constantly, so I need something to help strengthen them. I do it every day. I swear to you, this stuff is a game changer. This right here I picked up during... Christmas, I believe, when it was on sale. Stress Relief Pillow Mist. I love it. It's eucalyptus and spearmint. <sighs> Smells so good. All I do every night before I get to bed is I spritz over my bed with this and on our pillows. And I think it just helps me sleep. There is a sleep one. Um, I think it's got lavender and cedar wood, I believe, in it. There's different ones for everything at Bath and Body Works. Um, but I just really love eucalyptus and spearmint, so that's why I bought this. I usually have my diffuser on by my bedside uh, with lavender anyways, so it's just an array of smells in my bedroom. But I really, really am liking this pillow mist. 
It would not be a Haley video without getting somewhat nerdy on you guys. But I have been playing Call of Duty World War II on Xbox. This game is really, really fun. Uh, <laughs> I have had my qualms about um, Call of Duties and Black Ops. Uh, my favorite one has been Modern Warfare 2 for the longest time. And nothing else seemed to really excite me as what I mean I played them but I was never like oh yes until this one this one is probably one of my favorites the game modes that they keep putting out for this are freaking fantastic um, they just recently had a uh, prop hunt which was <laughs> so much fun it was so stupid to be in the anime objects hiding but it was hilarious and good times and yeah um, if you ever wanted me to do a, a, a gaming video, I totally would be down. Just don't know if that's kind of the uh, audience that I have. I don't know. So yeah, Call of Duty, World War II. So that is it for my January favorites. I know it was random, but that's kind of how January is. Everyone's trying to make a good start on stuff and trying new things. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I hope that you liked it. If you liked this video, like and subscribe. Leave a comment telling me what your favorite thing about January was. What was your favorite product you found? I want to know. I want to know some new products to try. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!